So what is that major advantage that Android users have over iOS? Yes, it is the ability to install or sideload third-party apps on Android ecosystem without rooting the device. But then it can be very frustrating if an app gives you an error, I'm not able to install. I mean, the app is not able to install and there is no reason whatsoever as to why that app is not installing. I mean, no error code, nothing. So what is causing this issue and what can you do to fix it? Let's talk about this in this video. So well guys, my name is Ashish. You are watching Guiding Tech. Let's get started. So this particular video is divided into two categories. We'll start with the very basic things that you can do and then move on to the advanced settings. Now the advanced settings might be a bit complicated for some users out there, but then those particular fixes might solve the issue 100%. But then the basic settings will also, I mean, for 80% of the users, it might work. So well, let's start with the very basics first. Now the very first thing that you need to see is that have you enabled the unknown sources on your device? And for that, you need to head over to settings, tap on security and enable the toggle next to unknown sources. Now for the newer version of Android, let's say Android 10, the process is easier. The moment you try to install an APK, a pop-up will show up asking you permissions for the same. I mean, do you want this particular app to install that particular app on your phone? And all you need to do is tap on enable here. And once that's done, that particular app will be able to install other third-party APKs out there. I mean, this is a one-time process, but you have to give permission only if you are sure that that particular app will not install any malicious apps behind your back. I mean, it can be a bit tricky, but then you got to trust your instincts here. Now, moving on, when it comes to side-loading apps, Google is a little bit aggressive, especially if the APK file that you are trying to install is... Uh, let's say disabled by play store or for some reasons google thinks that it's a malicious app and i mean it's certainly up to you if you want to install that but then there's a way to disable that as well so to do that head over to play store open up the menu and tap on play protect now here tap on the settings cog and disable the toggle next to scan device for security threats that should ideally do the job for you just keep in mind that once your app has been installed make sure to turn this toggle back on. Play Protect is an essential service that helps protect your device and you don't want to leave it turned off. Now moving on to the complicated ones. I mean, let's gradually go till there. And the next thing that you might want to do is clear the cache of the APK installer. I mean, that particular module install different APKs on your Android device. And there might be a possibility that the cache files or the data of that app might be corrupted. So in that case, open up the app manager on your device. It's under settings and then tap on the three dot menu. Here, tap on reset app preferences. You should now be able to install your downloaded APK easily if this particular method works for you. But then don't worry, this won't erase any data from any of the apps. The method will, however, revoke some permissions. So you might have to grant them once again. So let's move on to the last two and like I said, they are a bit complicated but then you should look out for the word bit, they're not that complicated. And the very first thing that you can do is sign a particular APK. I mean, Android only allows you to install an APK if it is signed by the publisher but then sometimes what's to happen is you are trying to download an APK, it might not be signed and that is why your Android is throwing that error. So in such cases, you can sign that particular APK file yourself and it's not a tedious task. It's very easy. Let me tell you how. So all you need to do is download an APK file. Yes, you need to download an app to sign an app so that a different app can install that app on your particular device. <gasps> Complicated, right? Not as much. I mean, the particular download link will be in the description of the video and the app is called APK Signer. Yes, that's about it. Now, all you need to do is open up the app and tap on signing tab. On the bottom, you'll see a pencil like icon and all you need to do is tap on that icon. Now just browse to the APK file on your device. And once you have done that, tap on save. Your APK will now be signed and automatically saved as a new APK file. And go ahead and install that APK file. 
quite a few APK, right? I mean, if you take a sip, every time I've said APK in this video, you might not be able to finish this video. And uh, jokes apart, this particular method might solve the issue for you. And uh, let me just say it out loud. You really need to be sure that the APK file that you have downloaded needs to be secure. I mean, you should trust the source and just don't do it on any source out there because your phone has a lot of your personal data. And uh, while I always insist to install APK files from Google Play Store, there might be, I mean, there are n number of reasons why you might want to install an APK from a third party website. But still, please make sure that the secure source, I mean, the source has to be secure. And finally, if all that doesn't work for you, there might be a problem with the base APK and fixing that is also quite easy. Now from the link in the description below, download and install an app that says APK Editor Pro. And once installed, open it and tap on select APK file and then browse onto the file uh, that is on your device that you want to rectify. And in the menu that pops up, tap on common edit. Now change the installation location to internal only and tap on save button. It will create a new modified version of the app and then you can go ahead and try to install it. Now if that doesn't work, repeat the steps and try changing the app code as well. Or you could even experiment with changing the number, I mean with the version number in case you are installing an APK of an already installed app. Ideally, the previous method should work just fine and the last method should only be used as the last resort if that APK file, if that app is really important for you and you desperately want to install it. And also make sure that that particular APK, I mean, if you have two Android phones, you can try installing it on a different Android phone with a different Android version and let's say you can check if that works. If that works, it's really good, but if not, these steps might help you out. So well, if you have any other personal doubts or I mean, if you have any other additional doubts about this particular steps that you've followed in this video, please do ask them in the comment section. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to Guiding Tech, please do hit that subscribe button as well. So well, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in our next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.